Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 4 on the Guild Rock SMP. In the last one we did a bunch of base building. Now I'm not in my base so I can't exactly show that but we are at the shopping district because I want to set up myself a beautiful little shop. So I brought over some resources. I have a little bit extra stuff here but if I place this out we have some stone and some wool, some uh, concrete and just basic resources that we are going to need for this build. Now jumping straight into it, I asked other oh, Slav here, who I asked in the Discord server, you know, if I could set up a shop right here, my first thought was here, second thought is somewhere over there, but Sam, one of the, you know, fellow members on the server, who I believe also owns the bank, said that I could set up the shop next to the bank because, well, he wanted, uh, he thought it would be cool to have more shops around the bank, you know, which is kind of perfect because there's already a road here. Now I think I'm gonna need to start this build down here and so my plan is to build an island shop that will be a little bit floating in the sky now if you remember from maybe the past one or two episodes you might have seen that i have a bunch of shulker shul shulk boxes full of chickens so not chickens but full of eggs so our shop will be kind of a um, not exactly a shop that is meant to make diamonds from but rather a little fun shop which i believe will be called hawkins chicken shack isn't that amazing so we will have a floating island somewhere maybe 10 blocks above the ground that has is basically just a floating island with a chicken on it and inside the chicken you can buy stuff like feathers cooked chicken and also shulker boxes full of eggs for relatively cheap because I mean it's just for fun now you might be wondering why am I doing this because I mean eggs is probably not going to be sold a lot. Now same with the chicken and the feathers, but this shop is just for fun and this shop that I'm building now is also going to lead to something I'm going to do later. Uh, so later in this episode I'm going to need a bunch of eggs, uh, which is the main reason why I picked up a bunch of eggs, but also for the shop, but this shop is going to build up to something bigger and maybe a bit more fun that we're going to do later, which you might, well I guess the things are somewhat connected and you might already know about that based on the title and maybe the thumbnail but hopefully not too much got spoiled by that so anyways we have enough blocks here now the stones now will be used for both small floating islands and also the big island now i might have a bunch of small floating islands that is kind of you know like building up to the big one so basically you know the way you get up there if you don't have the light race by walking up on a bunch of islands yeah i think that is good but without any more talking let me just uh let me just try this out see what i can do and yeah Okay everyone, so I'm pretty sure that I'm done with all the platforms, or oh, I've forgotten the dirt on these last two, uh, sort of the grass blocks now. I kind of wanted to have the shop here, so it looks towards the bank, so I guess if you walk inside a bank you can stare, stare at a chicken face. Uh, but I guess I might just keep it here instead, because that's how I built the, these things. Uh, if I'd built them more out here and then up here instead of out here then i could have built the shop looking toward here t you know towards the bank instead of towards here but i guess it is kind of nice here too in case people walk on the lighter in case people you know walk on this road so they see the beautiful big chicken now i'm gonna need a bit of space here but i think that building this with a one block gap between the bottom platform here should be good now of course i'm gonna make this a real island with the same style i have with the stone under here and stuff yeah and then i'm gonna need to just um yeah build the island then you know build uh, the whole island everything under then the chicken and then just move up everything i'm gonna sell to here and yeah, then we should be good to go to open up our first shop so uh, yeah i guess let me just build this and i'll be right back Okay everyone, so I think I'm done with the island. Now the dirt looks a little bit, uh, hmm, uh, I'm not too much fan of the dirt. Well, well, I mean it looks kind of nice, but uh, maybe I've had too much dirt and too little stone. But the island looks pretty nice, and I've also added in a bunch of details using, uh, not details perhaps, but uh, maybe that would look better. But adding in stuff like slabs, just to make it look a little bit less square-ish. And I'd say that looks pretty nice. But anyways, I guess we will have to go over there and grab our last of our resources just f fell off the island or you know the walking things here yeah i guess we will have to grab the rest of the resources which we have inside here uh, i'm just gonna drop off all the stones since i'm not gonna need any more of that now the only blocks i'm gonna need are these uh well the chests for inside some of the signs this for the door and this is what i'm gonna need basically just the concrete some wool you know what let me just get uh, get on the building or building the chicken and yeah Thank you. 
Okay everyone, so I think, I think I'm done with the outside of the store. I'm just gonna need to move out all the dirt I've placed, also there's some blocks loose on the table. Uh, on the table, on the topper I think, is there? Yes sir, a wool, can't lose a wool. PA, you know that, that actually looks pretty cool. So all I would need to do now is build the interior, which I mean is pretty simple. And then I will need to, also the, for the doors, I'm just gonna keep doors right here and then metal plates here and other doors. Um, I'm gonna have iron iron doors because it kind of fits in with a build. I mean, having any sort of wood door here would not look too, too good as you all might know. Ah, uh, can I just please get the door sorted out? Ah, there we go. So then, then of course I'm gonna pressure plates here. Iron because it mimics the chicken. My best guess is that no one is really gonna buy anything from here, but I guess this is just a little fun thing we can do, you know, our first shop. Of course, not a practical shop or have us you know it doesn't really have a practical use and we don't really sell anything that's too practical beside i guess the cooked chicken that will be in here but for now this is all good now originally i thought about having you know two double chests on top of each other so can i get in two double chests uh, not there you know two here and then two on top of each other but because i currently don't have that much stock i think just making like a simple little table the sh that the chests are on might just be better either this and then maybe Ah, look at that, look at that, how beautiful that is. So in this one we will have, you know, shulker boxes full of eggs. This one we will fill up slowly with chicken and this one with feathers. And uh, yeah, that is the <laughs> most useless shop on the server, uh, probably. Yeah, you know what, I think this is the most useless shop on this whole server, but uh, creeper that I gotta get rid of him. But <laughs> I guess it's kind of a fun one, so uh, I won't uh, judge anyone. I guess judge my self. Okay everyone, so we are back in my base. I am having a lot of lag over at my base, which um, I do know why. These two little things. Now, I've been cooking up some chicken. Uh, as you see, it's very, very quick. I mean, oh, I just realized the best thing I could probably do is somebody with the cows just manually kill them. But uh, I'm probably going to kill off all these chickens soon, uh, sooner rather do the same thing I did with the cows. Because I think... Killing them with a sword is just so much better because, I mean, I'm looting so I might get more. But if we head inside here now, also, I don't have too much feathers or chicken. Now, my plan is to sell two stacks of, for example, chicken and then two stacks of feathers for one diamond. So, in, not together, but one, two stacks of feather for one diamond, two stacks of chicken for one diamond. But yeah, and then kind of do the same with the eggs, but rather one full shulky box worth of eggs. One full shulky box worth of eggs for simply one, uh, one little diamond. So, so that should hopefully be a uh, yeah, one shulker box of eggs for one diamond, which should be pretty good. So we head inside here, we can place an ender chest here. Now, I'm also going to need an anvil. <laughs> so I think I'm going to keep shulker boxes full of eggs right here. Okay, so I'm going to put in feathers here. Now we only have two stacks of feathers now. <laughs> and two stacks of chickens, which is slightly disappointing, but uh, I uh, guess that's all good for now. I'm going to need to put in more here later, but as long as... No one comes to buy a lot of chicken or feathers, then that should be good. Yeah, so we have two stacks of chicken, one full shulk box, one dia. Okay, so two stacks of feathers, I can sell... <laughs> I can sell feathers and chicken worth one diamond. <laughs> yeah, what I'm going to do though is... Uh, most definitely fill this up later, but I guess we will have to do that maybe sometime soon. Because I do have a plan of how to spread aware awareness. Can't barely speak, but how to spread, you know, like... Yeah, anyways, I'm talking way too much, but, you know, let's just go and do that. My plan is, I'm gonna need to find the notes I made, yeah, rename this. So I'm gonna make a coupon, coupon for Hakon's... Okay, I can't rename, um, rename this too far, huh? What can I do then? Two hours later. Okay everyone, so I am back in my base and I now have the books that I'm going to need. So in this book I guess I will write about my shop, how to find it and stuff like that. And then what I will do is just name this for example, I'll just call it a coupon, use one. And then I'll talk, mention in the book what the coupon is. So you know what, let me just write this beautiful book and yeah. So anyways, in this book we have, you know, coupon for Hawkons Chicken Shack, 64 free cooked chicken or feathers with your next purchase. Now, what is Hawkons Chicken Shack? Well, Hawkons Chicken Shack is an amazing shop where you can get yourself a ton of eggs, chicken meat or feathers. Location, next page. Yeah, the famous chicken shack is located to the left of our bank on a floating island with a chicken on it. Head inside the iron doors to find our stock. Prices, next page. Then here we have the prices, you know, uh, two stacks feathers, one diamond, two stacks chicken, one diamond, one full shulker box of eggs, one diamond. 
then over here we have uh what is this yeah like how you use the coupon and then yeah basically how you use the coupon and stuff and then how you know what you can use the stuff for so so that is the book now i'm pretty sure on how to uh, not duplicate it but how to like copy it you simply place it inside here ah okay beautiful so this is the original one i would like to keep the original mm. one no, just for fun now i'm gonna need to craft up a ton of books <laughs> okay so we are back at the chicken shop now in the last clip i believe i ended off with making the book now since there is i believe 36 members on the server including me or there are at least 36 mailboxes in the nether but only you know one of them is mine so i've crafted up 35 books with the same you know kind of text in them and along with that 35 coupons that they will actually put away i have an extra piece of paper that would get a name as a gift for nano because uh not sure if i mentioned it but I sent them a picture of some lasagna I made for dinner because we have been talking quite a bit on Discord and he said that he got super hungry uh, while looking at the picture. So, you know, as a little gift, I'm gonna offer him one full free stack of chicken that he can come over and take if he want. But we are not gonna do this yet or share our, be share our beautiful uh, coupons with because now I wanna jump into the little prank and also gift that I will be doing with and for Loki. So for that, I'm gonna need some eggs. Now, I'm not sure how many eggs I'm gonna need. Uh, so I'm gonna take a few more. I mean, I'm most likely not going to need this many eggs, but in case I do it, I'm going to have more than enough. So basically what this prank is going to have is kind of two stages to it. Uh, so one of the parts is going to be me filling up his, you know, penthouse room, uh, you know, bedroom and general area with chickens. And the other part is going to be me giving him a frog as a gift. Now that is a little bit of a spoiler, but basically why I'm going to give him a frog is because on April 1st, he made a joke video talking about why he was quitting the good truck smp which is this server as you see right there now the first reason he gave to why he was quitting the server was because his pet frog died and april which is another member on the server didn't bring him any new ones so since his pet frog died which i felt very sad about hearing i obviously want to give him a new pet frog so i have already brought a pet frog over to his base but we are not going to give it to him super easily now what we are going to do is uh, i might need some more paper god i hope i'm gonna need two more pieces of papers so i hope i have that or he has that that i can just loan but yeah this is his beautiful base also i love this base so much this is so cool but i have a book right here which says hello locally i see some chickens here hehe <laughs> gotcha now the chickens will be inside his penthouse along with that a little barrel that's hanging from the roof with this book in it so basically what the rest of the book is talking about is how this is revenge for him coming to scare me but ended up killing me instead but this is not just a friendly prank and then we have uh, you know the talking about this book jesus uh how we can find it uh, sorry the frog and how we can find it so what i have done is that i have i have a little notepad next to me and i've prepared up i need to look at it three different set of cords now i've hidden the frog in one of the cords now as you see everyone the frog is here i'm gonna need to um yeah locally this new pet frog i'm gonna need to censor cords and stuff but here we have the frog hidden underground so this is this beautiful little uh, i guess main base that he has his stuff in and at the top floor is where he has his penthouse and you know the area that he lives in so what i'm going to do well uh i'm gonna need to I, I forgot to bring some stuff so i'm gonna need to steal a couple of resources from him <laughs> i'm obviously gonna pay him back but i'm just gonna take some fences and stuff like that now i have never really um done a prank you know on someone on this server well i haven't done a prank on someone in this server yet and the only type of smp i've played on before where i did a prank has been on a public smp with some friends where i pranked them when i clearly knew they wouldn't be able to come online so the thing i'm most scared about now is locally log uh, you know logging onto the server and spawning in here that would be kind of uh, <laughs> a little bit of worrying but i think for now it should be good so what i'm gonna do firstly is have the barrel that he is going to i guess you would i don't know the but yeah the barrel that's uh, going to have the book in it in here uh what is the book there an adventure and then what i'm gonna do is obviously close this up here just so um the chickens don't get up here then i'm also gonna close off this just so the chickens don't you know annoy him around here or you know don't get into the elevator and stuff just to make it a little bit nicer in case he uses the elevator to get up here and a bunch of chickens runs down so what i'm gonna need to do now is use these three item frames to hit the hit the things around so i'm gonna hit pieces of paper with the cords which okay so then i'm gonna put maybe another one i kind of want to keep them a little bit hidden so he has to actually look for them uh we're gonna keep them you know i'm gonna place one here i'm gonna leave the last one here okay beautiful so now we have all the pieces of cords so what i'm gonna do now is 
just uh, start spawning a bunch of a bunch of chickens. Uh, oh, what we will need to do is just make a simple hopper clock like this. Now this goes on. And I really had to make it in the one location that had something that could be uh, could be changed. Okay. Okay. Now so we are good. So this should be yes turning on and off now. Oh, I'm gonna need some hoppers. Okay. Um, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so now that works. I'm gonna place another one facing this way. Uh, rather, can't place it exactly like that. Rather facing away from. Uh, how did they? Oh my god. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. So, you know, a few chickens here and there is fine. Yeah, that's how they got into this maybe part. But I'm gonna need to place out the rest of these little things. And yeah. Oh, I, re I really hope I can fill this up goodly, but anyways, let's just um, wait for this all to run out, so, yeah. Or, you know, for all the eggs to be placed, and, uh, yeah. A few moments later. Okay, so his space is really starting to fill up. <laughs> Look at all this. <laughs> Oh, this is honestly amazing. It, I mean, this is still you not know, the type of prank that's both funny, but also just so annoying. So I wonder what he will uh, think if this is just, you know, if he will look at it and think, be, be, you know, fun annoyed or just plain annoyed. But I really hope that these... Oh, I can't open that because of that. That makes sense. Okay, how many... Okay, there's a lot of eggs left. Now, we do have one shulker box left, but I have to leave in a minute. You know, I, I do really wonder what this is all going to look like if they grow up. So I've thought about standing AFK here for a minute, but I'm not too sure if that would be good or not. But I'm pretty sure as long as all the eggs get dispensed, I am just going to leave the chickens here. There's not as many chickens as I would maybe like, but uh, yeah, there's still a lot of chickens. And also, I don't want to cause too much lag here, so... <laughs> Okay, so I think it's time to stop all the chickens before too much lag arrives on server. Okay, the shulker boxes should be dispensed. Well, hey, this one is also running out uh, of eggs, so that is cool. Now, I still have one full shulker box, but I think this is enough eggs as long as the chickens can scud them stop dying. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna need to... Um, can the chickens get away from here? I'm gonna need to temporarily play some dirt here and... Did both the slabs disappear? Oh, uh, well, one of them. Oh, this is amazing. My laugh hotel. Okay, so we have some... <laughs> we have the second piece of paper here. Uh, the last piece of paper. I'm going to turn this off too before it spawns too many chickens. Yeah, the last piece of paper is here. Oh, wow, this is so funny. Yeah, you know what? Sure, let's just play some eggs randomly. Boom. But I might just head down to the bottom of his base and log out there. Yeah, log out at the bo at the bottom of his base down here. Then I guess I will, uh, yeah, just wait for Locally's reaction. Now, hopefully he logs on later so we can see his reaction. I mean, it would be, oh, wouldn't it be ironic if he decided to stream or, uh, well, I'm not sure if he streams, but if he decided to record an episode and he ended up, you know, spawning up there or something, that would be so fun. But anyways, let's just, uh, yeah, wait and see. But if not, we can always probably get his reaction in Discord because he will maybe ask about it or mention it to us but uh, yeah you know what let's just uh, log out of the server and or well i guess wait a minute and uh, see what happens and then we will head back to base distribute these beautiful things coupons and yeah okay everyone so as you saw in the last clip we finished our little um what is called the a little prank against locally now hopefully he logs online before he sees it well before this video video is up but i think we have plenty of time now i went back to his oh trash can i went back to his uh, base just have a quick look and the chickens are still there which is beautiful now i'm gonna need one extra piece of paper before i drop off my mail so do we have that okay we do have some sugar cane so that should be more than good Okay, so we have reached Nanos. Uh, oh, yeah, so the stuff came. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> look at people's mail, but uh, yes, we're gonna drop off that along with that. 63, 64 free chicken for now, and also another coupon. Okay, so I just placed out the last coupon book and piece of coupon paper in Billon's. Billion? Uh, I can't. Billion. Billion's chest. I hope I'm saying that correctly. So now we have filled up all the chests with our coupon and stuff. Now we are almost done with this video, but I might have left some stuff over at the shopping district. So uh, oh, let's head over there just to have a look. But look at that shop. Isn't that beautiful? 
Now I kind of want to build another shop in the same area that kind of connects to this, uh, which might be uh, that might be a spoiler for now. But who knows? Maybe we will do it. Maybe we will do that in the future. Now I'm also like 90% uh, sure that this shop isn't going to make any diamonds. When I expand it the way I'm thinking about to make you know a shop that sells different things or other stuff, it might become a little bit better. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this shop is not going to make any diamonds at all. But I guess it's kind of just like a little fun thing. So. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm over here at uh, Joe Buffalo's diamond tree. Now, although I almost have enough iron and uh, emeralds and, you know, stuff like that to make a beacon, I kind of want to buy some more emeralds. Iron blocks, not emerald, iron blocks. Just we can set up a small mining area to mine some more stone and stuff, which we are going to need more of pretty soon for our builds. Because, you know, what I built so far in the last episode, I spent, I think, probably three or four shulk boxes worth of stone. Pure stone, I mean, obviously some of that was made into stuff like stone bricks and that. So yeah, I think I might buy some, um, you know, spent four diamonds here just so I can buy, uh, sorry, just so I can make up a beacon. Now, this is one stack of blocks, which uh, is, is not too bad. I mean, I do want to make my own iron farm pretty soon, but for now, buying a stack of uh, iron, iron blocks, might be pretty good. Because that means that with a half a stack of ish emerald blocks we can make, along with, you know, gold and, I guess, diamond blocks, we can pretty easily set ourselves up a beacon, you know, a full beacon, which requires about two and a half stacks of blocks, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that pretty soon, but um, obviously we will need to find an area that we can actually mine, you know, mine out a bunch of stone in, but um, yeah, we shall do that soon. But as we are traveling from the shopping district, I think it's time to end off this one. So, for a little recap in this episode yeah west in this episode we uh, made a little chicken shop our first shop hawkins chicken shack which is not gonna make any diamonds at all probably but it was mostly just for fun then we went over to our beautiful uh, friend locally you know a guy named locally who if you remember from episode 2 came over and killed us i can't his mailbox is over there anyways he came over and uh, tried to scare us ended up killing us you know and as a revenge we spawned a bunch of chickens inside his base but or you know his penthouse but we didn't just do that we were a little nice and gave him a new pet frog since his last one died and no one else you know gave him a new one so hopefully he shall enjoy the little adventure i put him on because i mean you watched the episode right so you will know about the little adventure that we sent him on so yeah i guess it's time to end it off here so anyways thanks so much for watching this and i'll see you in the next one peace out